Your health is your wealth. That's what my nan always told me. And it's true. Health outweighs anything. Money, career, you name it. But what about your mental health? Is that the same thing? I never considered it to be. I never really cared about it either. My mother suffers from clinical depression. Think bipolar, but without the highs, just the lows. Having to take medication daily for the rest of her life since the age of 19. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Do you care? I know I didn't, so I know you probably don't. Not that I didn't care, but I, that I never truly understood what she was going through. The outbursts, the lows, the anxiety, not getting out of bed, not washing, mentally breaking down. And most importantly, not knowing why. When I say it, it sounds bad, but I never truly understood. I couldn't resonate with her. You know, the normal motivational speech never works. You cry to God as you lose faith. You cry for your medication to kick in. You cling onto that strand of hope. That's what it is, isn't it? Hope. So precious, so innocent, so real. Or is it? I mean, when your hope is rewarded, it's the best feeling in the world. But once again, I still never understood. Because the bad days come back and we start all over again. Because the bad days hurt more than the good. But do you know the day that I didn't understand? was the day when I took my mom's medication to her and she replied, your turn now. Now I'm thinking, am I starting this cycle too? Am I in 10 years going to be clinging on to my childhood, trying to remember the days when I genuinely felt happy? Like how my mom feels. Imagine not knowing what it feels like to be happy. Imagine that. But that was also the day that I realized what hope is. Look to God, look to the sky, look to yourself, look to whatever you want to, but all you have to do is be. Trust me, that helps. Even as I'm saying this now, I'm thinking, I'm getting some of this wrong, surely. But that's the thing about mental illness. It's always you and your contradicting thoughts and not about what you know, but how you feel. And sometimes you don't even know what that is. But we're in this together. We have to stay relaxed. There is hope, I promise. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Paradise awaits us. Why? Because it's already here. I'm telling you, but most importantly, you tell yourself. I'll see you in paradise. And paradise is now. <laughs>